Good day. So today, um, got a system to put in in a very small space, and I was looking at it and thinking about my poor knees and my poor back, and how I was going to go about squeezing this lot on the wall. And then I thought, well, why not build it externally? Build it outside. So that's what I've done. So, um, so we've got the usual plate separation here. Now we need some kind of hydraulic separation because we've got an admix circuit for underfloor heating. Um, so we've got a plate heat exchanger. This will be the flow from the boiler, return to the boiler coming in. And then this forms our distribution header coming down this way where we tee off to the two circuits. So we've got the feed into the mixed circuit, non-return valve, and we've got non-return valve and we've got the unmixed circuit here. So this will be the flow to my radiator circuit. This will be the flow to my underfloor. Now this will be the return from the underfloor and it's important that this one is the, the return from the underfloor because it's got the option of mixing back into this circuit and we don't want the return water from the radiator circuit uh, mixing back into the underfloor because it may be actually higher than the required flow temperature. Um, and then that goes back into the plate heat exchanger and uh, not, not necessarily as low loss as we'd like through this system but um, it should make very little difference to the pull on these. This underfloor heat is actually a half inch valve on this. Although I've got a 22 mil pipe going, it's actually a half inch valve to get the right authority on it because there's only two loops of underfloor on this. And there's another potential problem as well. I've come across a system recently that I did where the underfloor heating system has been installed by, um, by an installer previously very poorly. And actually I require a higher flow temperature into the underfloor than I do the radiators. So I've got to go back and swap over the circuit where I've done one mixed and one unmixed. And this has the potential to have the same problem on this system. So I could be coming back to swap these pipes over on this side if we find we've got a problem. One way to avoid this is to have two mixed circuits so that we can actually select whatever curve we need for either circuit. But that would require another mixing valve, some more space and another EMMX. So it's a reasonable bit of expense. Um, that we can probably avoid it probably cheaper to come back and swap a few pipes around so Okay, so it's quite a good demo board. I think this one as well It'd be quite nice to have this uh, Sort of in a classroom environment so you could sort of demonstrate it. That's for the safety kit by the way for the secondary circuit so off of here we'll have uh, like a safety kit bracket with uh, a pressure relief valve filling loop uh, um, automatic air vent and expansion vessel for this side of a system and of course all of that's already contained within the boiler on the boiler side this will be priority domestic hot water so i have a cylinder sensor here and it's four pipe so that will be just connected down to the cylinder so these will be the two heating pipes and the hot water will be on the other side so okay so i quite like this idea i think i might build some more systems um, outside and then screw them on the wall in future as well saves a lot of pain in the knees anyway i hope that helps